Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to bench test electronic water pump for BMW E90 with the naturally aspirated inline 6 engine. You see a propeller right in there. One is working, the other one is not working and I went to the junkyard and bought a used one and it's not working. Before I install it in the car I plugged it in because you can do it like that way you can unplug it in the car when you don't touch anything plug it in key on and you're gonna watch if this spins at all and this is how you can test the spare water pump on the car without removing anything on the car except the plug of the old pump see the pump is bad and you can test it this way and plug it there Plug it right here, it's going to be really tight to plug it in. And then start the car and then look for, for it spinning. Look for it spinning right here. So the car is off, so it's not spinning now, but that's how you can test it. You can also try to spin it with your finger. If, it, if it's stuck completely, then it's bad. You know, there's, there's no need to spend money on it. If it spins like this you still don't know if it's working or not. So in order to test it at the junkyard with a 12 volt supply like I have here with this uh, 12 volt battery for the Milwaukee tools that I carry with me to the junkyard anyway. So basically down there on a pin number one it's gonna be 12 volt supply all the time and pin number four is gonna be ground and I have it gr actually ground to the chassis of the pump. And then pin number two is going to be pulse width. So what do you do is you supply 12 volts. 12 volts to pin number one, ground to pin number four, or the chassis. Then the pin number two Right there, she's spinning, spinning. Look at all the rust in there. <laughs> it's still working. All this this rusty pump is still working. Look. All right, spinning. And the way you stop it, you unplug it, or you. There you go. I stopped it. All right. Again. Okay, so this one is good, and I know it's good because it's my spare. So I wanted to get one that looks nice. Look, look how this one looks nice. And I went to the junkyard without testing it. I bought it, and it's not working. So I'm going to show that right now. I'm going to plug it in over here. Maybe pin number two is going to be a pull switch. chassis I can already see a spark when it, when the pump gets the power and I'm gonna power it up see if it moves see not moving now it's bad so what happens with these pumps there's a circuit board inside of them and something goes bad in them and they quit spinning absolute junk <laughs> I can't believe BMW made this junk and they just they can just quit on you like you're driving down the road and they just quit on you the car starts overheating and on E90 it'll just uh, show you that the car is overheating and that's it it's already too late it's unbelievable that's why everybody's overheating the E90 uh, N52 engines when you connect the pin number two to 12 volts the pump will run full speed 100 percent I'm simulating the pump speed see how it's slower maybe you can't see that in on a video but it's spinning slower I'm simulating the signal pulse width now I'm going to connect it to 12 volts, 100%. And you can hear it 
speed up fast. You can also put your hand right here and you can uh, feel the air. So that's how you test it. I took the lid off to show you the aftermarket pump and what's inside and pretty much basically it's controlled by the microprocessor inside. There's nothing that goes bad that you can just change and fix.